metro to further increases by 20 kilometers. 10 more stations to build. Alone. All must join hands. Metro extends WhatsApp ticketing to entire day for them. And uh, on 7th October 9th. Reminded me about the Delhi case, you know, yeah. that the Nirbhya case. Yeah, yeah. That also uh, happened in shoot. Little, um, little bit, I gained a confidence from in military force. But uh, Ukraine military force also killed by Ukraine military force. And now I would like to call the news anchors for this news story and for this channel. I would like to welcome my co-host and my host and the anchors for today's news briefing session. And I would like to welcome, we have Mr. Subham and Dikshika. Please put your hands together for both the anchors. Hello, good morning to all. And I am Dikshika Rana from Happiness Institute's channel. I welcome to all of you on our show. And I have my co-partner, Mr. Subham Agrawal. Thank you for the warm introduction, Ms. Dixika. The first news is coming from Chennai. India beats Australia by six wickets. Kohli scored 85 runs and KL Rahul scored 97 runs. The man of the match was given to KL Rahul for his extraordinary performance. The second news is coming from the film industry. That Jawan movie earns 1100 crores worldwide. This movie has broken the old record in the film industry. The next news is coming from the capital city of India, Delhi. Yellow line of metro to further increases by 20 kilometers. 10 more stations to build, set by Delhi Metro Rail Corporation. The next news is that Shikhar Dhawan grants divorce. A Delhi court on Wednesday granted cricketer Shikhar Dhawan divorce from his wife Aisha Mukherjee. The judge expected all the claims made by Dhawan in his divorce petition as his wife not contest the allegations or defend herself. The next news is coming from the Election Commission of India. Legislative Assembly elections to be held in five states in the month of November. The states are Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Telangana, Chhattisgarh and Mizoram. Ashok Gehlot has been chosen CM candidate from the state of Rajasthan. That's all from me and my co-operator, Mr. Shubham Agrawal. We will be with you tomorrow with more exciting news. Thank, Thank you, you to so all. Much. It's like something like that, right? बहुत कम समय में बहुत अच्छे से अपनी इज्जत इन्होंने बचा ली। और it's called clever mindset, चलाकी वाला दिमाग। So that was exactly nice, and the way you briefed the news, it was really amazing. But you could have done one more thing, like you could have added some more uh, extra spicy news and uh, information in your news that could have become more extraordinary, right? But yes, time was off and time was less. That's why you could not. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, we got two anchors for the news hosting and they all briefed about the Indian and national and international news and it was really fantastic. Yeah, thank you for your good and proper and vulnerable and interesting news, Dikshika and Shubham. And I would like to say that it was really thundering performance from both of the speakers and I would like to welcome the next speaker. The next anchors and speakers I would like to welcome in the studio and the channel I would like to welcome Ms. Faiza and Shruti. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. Good morning, everyone. My name, is, my name is Shruti. I'm reporting from Happiness News. Good morning, everyone. Myself, Faiza, and I'm here to reporting uh, Happiness Institute channel. The first headline is DGB finds over 200 illegal borewells in central Delhi. My first line is from IVF treatment. HC gives 15 uh, days left. The third headline is T. Sazari court firing, I, firing nine accused granted bail. Shah, no, no state can face terror alone. All must join hands. Metro extends WhatsApp ticketing to entire network. Defending champs Manish Vedi into semi-final tennis. Artist Chintan Upadhyaya found, found guilty of conspiracy to kill wife. Manipur clubs told to look for home ground outside state. MHC bans Shabisha party for five years. 51 killed in Russia rocket hit on village cafe and a store in Ukraine. Serious underlines policy of strategic autonomy. Suspect held for attack on India's UK mission in March. The 10th edition of Vibrant Summit shall take place between January 10 and 12, 2024. Last September was hottest day on record by extraordinary margin EU monitor. 100 kill in drone attacks on Syrian military academy. India's biggest fashion sales, uh, sales starts on today. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, guys. So as we got two of the anchors and speakers for reporting the news, and they told us some national and international news, and we got two co-hosts, and they were so confident, and they were having their headlines, and they briefed those headlines, and we got some information related to national and international news. Thank you so much, both the anchors, Faiz and Shruti, and they got amazing job, and they did amazing job. Let's welcome the next speakers and anchors in the news studio, and I would like to welcome the next speakers in the next studio, and they are Mr. Avdesh and Pooja. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome them with a round of applause. Welcome them with your round of applause. Just uh, I would like to welcome the other co-host in the anchors uh, for today's session. I would like to welcome Mr. Sudhanshu and Manas. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome them upon the stage and in the studio hall. Everyone, I am Sudhanshu Suman. I am from the Happiness Institute, uh, Institution News Channel. And I am here to uh, say a brief about the day-to-day uh, -day activities uh, which is going on in uh, the real world. So, uh, it's my uh, my colleague, uh, my co uh, co anchor, uh, Manas. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. So very good afternoon, guys. Uh, so we are watching Happiness Institute. We talk about uh, happiness, uh, Israel and Palestine uh, between war. So Palestine attacked on seventh October uh, to Israel. So Israel. So till yet 600 people said killed. So on 7th October uh, Israel is attacked. So basically 7th October Israel people celebrate. Uh, this, this is the very holiday for them. And uh, on 7th October 1973 also Egypt is attacked uh, to um, uh, Israel. So till yet uh, first of all. Uh, uh, Palestine is thinking about that uh, um, uh, Israel is occupying uh, Palestine uh, places and uh, um, uh, Israel is thinking something but we can't say that who is the wrong and who is the right but till yet um, every country and every prime minister has uh, stand with uh, Israel. Okay, next news coming from uh, for the clashes between Canada, Canada and India. Now India has uh, taken a big step to ban the passports and visa uh, for the Canadian. Uh, due, due to this step, uh, in, uh, like Khalistanis or other terrorist activities are, are not uh, being passed to uh, India. So this was re really a uh, uh, like this was really a bold step for the Indian uh, India history. So, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the next uh, news coming from the G20. So G20 conducting is India uh, now. So first of all, we got uh, bad news from, uh, uh, I mean, con countries. So basically, uh, uh, Prime Minister uh, of Russia and Prime Minister of Chen, uh, China, they are not coming. So it was very bad news for us, but uh, unfortunately we got very good news. Uh, United States of America president has landed to uh, India. So our uh, president, they will go to for welcome. So next news. Okay. Uh, next news is coming from the uh, film industry. Uh, recently, Ranveer Kapoor uh, is summoned by the ED. Uh, in the case of uh, Mahadev betting ca app case, uh, app case. like uh, uh, according to the ED, uh, many other suspect, many other uh, celebrities are being suspected, and uh, uh, it is being said that uh, they are uh, they are in the background. Uh, these celebrities are promoting this uh, app in the background. That is harmful for the uh, ch uh, child uh, uh, teenagers. So, yeah. That's it. Uh, so third news is coming from the uh, sports industry that uh, that Sikhar Dhawan is uh, granted divorced uh, for from his wife. Like Delhi High Court has granted uh, the Sikhar Dhawan to get divorced uh, for from his wife uh, Aisha Mukherjee. And some news is coming from uh, like uh, from the uh, sports is that India beats the Australia in a uh, in a great uh, way. Like uh, in the, uh, Virat, it will it is a uh, remarkable uh, it is a re achievement for the Virat Kohli and the K Rahul that he totally flips the coin uh, like uh, in the in the first two over uh, 
our India lost two three wickets at zero zero runs. And but uh, like Virat Kohli, K K Rahul uh, just uh, beats all the situation, and uh, finally we, uh, India got uh, oh. success. So thank you for. Uh, that's all from my side. Thank you for the uh, great anchor. So you work upon it and the sound you need to work upon. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got two anchors in Austin and Mr. Sudhan Shwin Manas. They briefed the national and international news and information and they just, you know, informed us about some interesting news. Thank you so much, both of you, the anchors. And I would like to welcome the next anchors in the studio. Please welcome with your round of applause for Mr. Viraj and Praveen. Ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, everyone. My name is Viraj. And uh, from Happiness Institute channel, and uh, in, uh, this new channel with Mark, uh, uh, with with me co co host Robin. Today we are going to uh, del uh, we are going to te tell you the uh, drastical incident happened in Nainital. Bus uh, bus with 33 educational tour fall into Nainital. Did seven kill. So, uh, can you tell me what happened there in this uh, incident? First of all, my name is Pavin Kumar, and I am the uh, angry. Uh, I am not, I am angering right now. Uh, in Nainital, uh, a few uh, tours, uh, uh, a few uh, students were going the educational tour, and after that, uh, the uh, student uh, the bus was uh, uh, fall in the deep ditch and uh, including uh, five women uh, and uh, two children were killed after that uh, uh, some are injured and uh, some are uh, very critical conditions yes the, uh, those passenger those passenger from all from hisar nenital they 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 were on two days of the educational tour and when they are returning from nenital and at that time the their their bus the inc un uh, incidentally fall down the ditch so this uh, incident uh, happened and including in this uh, in this uh, incident one or uh, two is more uh, two kids are also were there and one teacher teacher son was there in this dead of course so those are belongs from the manav international school uh, he is uh, in hisar haryana and uh, my friends say uh, uh, most of the students are safely uh, safely uh, retarded and uh, the uh, few people are killed and after that uh, on sunday this news uh, is coming from uh, our uh, news anchor uh, tusar and uh, after that uh, the government of haryana actioned and uh, those people who were killed and uh, take some uh, special helps uh, like uh, money and uh, health issues and after that uh, those people who are not able to uh, afford the uh, very very big uh, amount of uh, money uh, the haryana sarkar or the haryana government support all of uh, them those who can't afford uh, uh, afford the more amount of money yes that uh, the teacher where dad identified pina sina sinki pinky and uh, on uh, on monday the bodies of the victim were handed over to the respective uh, family uh, while uh, where 13 of the injury were discharged uh, from the susila tiwari government hospital now finally they have uh, who are uh, who, uh, uh, who are injured they have been handed over to their respective uh, family so we all government are support to them uh, needful help Thank you for this news. And okay, ladies and please patient, take patient. The second news is uh, the athletic. Uh, our, our India uh, make a new uh, decisions to in athletics. Like uh, one girl is uh, from uh, Aditi Ashok. He on the first woman. He is uh, on the silver medal of golf. You know about golf. Uh, uh, he is uh, become a first woman lady. He won the silver medal in the golf. See, okay. And after that, uh, uh, third news is several uh, third news is ath athletics steeple phase. Uh, uh, Vinay Sehwal become the first Indian man who won the gold medal in 300 meter steeple phase. It is uh, like a game. Thank you. And uh, I have no enough time. 
So because uh, I left this. <laughs> the next anchors, ladies and gentlemen, in the studio. And I know that you are talking like Chacha and Chachi. And so please keep your ears open, mouth shut. You will get more information and knowledge. Right? There was a saying about Paris line came to you think Machli Agarapna Mu Hamesha Koli Regi, to Kahina Kahi wo Barve me Bajagi. And it will be killed, wo Mari Jagi. Isle Machlioko Mu Band Karna Chaye Bho Zaruri. Right? Isile in Sanoko Mu Band Karna Chie, Khan Kolekle, Khan Kulega to Gyan Badega. Right? Saiga, say Hame information will get milge. Chalia, let's welcome the next speakers in the news studio, ladies and gentlemen. We have the both host. Neha Sharma and Dr. Kusum, ladies and gentlemen, please. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Neha Sharma and you are watching Happy News Institute channel, English channel. And today I feel very bad because everyone listen about Ujjain, a girl is raped by a person. And it's a very, it's a very hideous uh, criminal. It's a girl, is she is 12 years old and she will, she is saying that uh, auto rickshaw man ki I will go to there but a person is I'm I didn't think so a person has it's a very bad mentality uh, that time people say that many people say that uh, she is not wearing a sari she is not wearing a like burqa she is not wearing uh, like that proper clothes but she is a uh, 12 years old and she is a girl she is child and how can is a mentality it's a very uh, I can't define this news and my colleague corporate hungering uh, really Neha it's really very sad and it is also infuriating on the same time uh, this case actually reminded me about the Delhi case you know yeah. that the Nirbhya case yeah, yeah, yeah. that also happened in uh, December 2012 so it got almost seven to eight years to get justice in that case also so it is the long journey I must say yeah, it's a very long journey. A criminal, uh, a, uh, a criminal wants to get a uh, punishment, and people wants to know he is a criminal, and a uh, lawyer also wants to know he is a criminal. But many people say uh, stand in a favor of like that law lawyer. In that case, also one of the uh, accused was a juvenile. Yeah. So the so um, what ha has to be done to a juvenile? So the court has to be take some actions and they are, they are very, you know, very delayed to a decision to come out. So right. there are some cases or instances when our legal system seems very incapable to do justice on instance. Now from my another partner meets to uh, meet he, the girl of his uh, raped by a man and he she is very innocent she she can't couldn't talk to other people she she is like a, she feels a depression and doctors say that how um, how can i say that he, she is suffering from this um, reason and various people mentality and when she uh, came in the lane and she wants to make a and say please help me and nobody uh, treated yeah, like a helping yeah, person I, I am worried is the mentality really changing i i doubtful because at that time, a fast track courts also established to for the instantaneous uh, uh, justice. But the cases are um, there are so many here. cases. If we are talking about Nirbhaya case, we are talking about Ujjain case, lots and of uh, cases. lots of yeah, cases. Lots of cases. Manipur also link these cases. Yeah. Where, where is mentality? Where is our education? Where is our mindset? Uh, these are all now uh, upcoming generation. Yeah, Neha, I must say now it's the time of the our generation to to get uh, to get and come together. Yeah, and people say that there is a time of uh, equality. Uh, Men do this and uh, women do this. And yeah. where is our man? Uh, like that, uh, how can a person uh, think like that? It's really very heinous. Yeah, sometimes we are saying, we are I sometimes think. we are, oh, many people say that. I am I'm also saying that if she uh, does to like a family background, but no. He, yeah. he, his father say that, his criminal father say that, the, yeah, of course, we want to uh, justice and we want to... Uh, um, like that where is a police officer where is our democracy system where is our public they are talking about like a NGO they are talking about a helping person everyone seems everyone's handicapped seems, yeah they can't do anything when it comes to a girl or it comes to a woman then everyone seems like they are handicapped they can't do anything then they start making excuses oh like uh, Maybe she is wrong, and maybe uh, it may be her fault. 
So and nowadays we find a very unique, a uh, very misleading point. Like we are all, uh, all are busy. Uh, our prime minister, of our country, entire countrymen. So what will happen? We'll do in um, what will happen in uh, Palestine, Israel, America, another country. But they don't see on our country. What's the matter in our country? Like that Manipur, Ujjain. And there are so many cases like that. In a girl is raped, was raped by a people. So it's a very, you know, very please guys sad. change your mentality and do the help some of a needed person and come together for a good cause and just uh, strike back to uh, such cases come together thank you and have a nice day morning ladies and gentlemen so today uh, we are going to uh, reporting uh, sorry uh, as you seeing my background, uh, like happy happiness shoots are sponsoring this news, especially uh, actually the press news are coming from East Delhi, Lakshmi Nagar as well. Uh, as I like saying about happiness shoots are uh, going to be conducted on the date of 15th October uh, about uh, public speaking and uh, speechness and all things. So there are uh, students, uh, the name are uh, Gunika. So I would like to invite Gunika. Gunika, please um, discuss about as you um, I, as I know about you that you are a uh, previous shoots. You belong from Happiness Shoot. So what are your uh, initiate about the 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 how how are uh, people to get invited by your point of view? Please elaborate, please. Yes. So uh, good morning, mm -hmm. all of you. Um, Yes, uh, you are looking that people are uh, coming here like this. This, are, this is uh, Guinka and uh, doing like an act. People are coming the confidence uh, like this. And uh, I am also a part of uh, in uh, uh, two years back uh, happening shoot. Little, um, little bit I gained a confidence from where but that was the main reason that I was not aware from institutes and I was not punctual in that times. So this was lack of my confidence uh, and my punctuality. But if you are coming here, so must I would suggest that uh, make consistency and coming here to regular basis uh, to get confidence building into your mind and yourself and your personality as well. So Gunika, do you have something more add on to do uh, in this kinds of topic, please? Yes, uh, I think uh, when uh, I joined this institute, I was uh, having a stage fear. So when I joined this institute, um, this institute uh, uh, made me gain my confidence more. Okay. And uh, Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Muhammad Abrar. Today, I'm going to talk about international news, Ukraine and Russia from Happiness Institute. My co-host, Mr. Ayan, please collaborate about that. So my name is Mohammed Ayan and today we are here to talking about uh, international <coughs> report, uh, Ukraine uh, versus uh, Russia war. It's so, okay. On 24 February 2022, Russia invaded and began occupying Ukraine in an escalation of the Russo-Ukraine war that started in 2014. Okay, uh, but basically I'm talking about uh, Russia. Russia was very powerful country. Uh, go, uh, Russian government uh, Vladimir Putin, uh, he, he wants to capture Ukraine. But Ukraine uh, doesn't come to Russia. But Russian people, Russian government, they were, they they want to win. How to capture the Ukraine? That's why they started war. And uh, if I talking about in Russian, uh, how much people killed in Russia? Approx uh, one lakh twenty thousands people killed. It's very long. Uh, uh, war but uh, right now also going there because uh, I'm talking about uh, 1 lakh 70 thousand to 1 lakh 80 thousand injured in Russia so that's uh, uh, Vlad, uh, Putin wants to 
how to save because ukraine is also powerful country but because ukraine uh, known as uh, science but ukraine science is very uh, strong uh, stronger and uh, second is one zelensky he wants to killed ukraine peoples ukraine wants to killed uh, russian people and uh, i'm talking about uh, american government joe biden also supporting ukraine you can fight i can you can win from U uh, russian and ukraine also uh, killed by at least 10000 to 13000 people and uh, at least 180000 injured okay so that's uh, it it was very awful and terrible moment at that time because uh, russian war first russian war started uh, uh, 2014 and uh, 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 then again started uh, on 24 february uh, february 2020 it is going on there all uh, uh, buildings devastated totally devastated there ukraine also devastated but so much devastated uh, uh, sorry russian also devastated little bit but ukraine so much dev uh, devastated uh, everything but there is nothing they are totally demolished ukraine so yeah but russian president vladimir putin said that russia's mission is to build a new world <laughs> as he blamed a military in western military yeah uh, but i'm i'm talking about uh, military force uh, in uh, russia russian military force killed uh, approx uh, uh, 10000 uh, russian military killed by ukraine military force but uh, ukraine military force also killed by ukraine military force it's a war but i can't imagine anything things happen but right now currently i'm talking a little bit i'm going to uh, which is presenting going on israel, uh, israel war uh, and uh, you can say palestine as we can see we are watching they are uh, those uh, what is going on okay and israel also wants to win and capture that palestine but palestine doesn't come uh, doesn't join uh, uh, you can say with israel okay and also american joe biden also supported uh, israel okay they has uh, uh, 400 am, am i talking about what two days back two days back Uh, how much? Uh, um, how many people killed? Approx four thousand people killed. Sorry, four thousand, not four hundred people killed. So that it was very bad. But both country economics has dev uh, totally devastated. But we should understand. But what's happening? I don't know. I don't have more knowledge. Why? What uh, uh, Israel government wants? What the Palestinian government wants? But we have to uh, go to deeply uh, take idea. Then we'll explain about that. Okay, that's okay. Okay. And next report is coming from Turkey. Attacker set of bomb on Turkey government buildings. Thank you. Okay, uh, I'm going to conclude my speech. Thank you so much, everyone, and my respected teacher, Mr. Abdullah sir. I'm going to little bit compliment about Happiness Institute. Okay, Happiness as a what's your name, brother? Viraj. Viraj, and your name? Chandan, yeah, I got it. Chandan, Chandan, brother, uh, always and every day he is doing uh, he is compliment about Happiness Institute. Okay, Happiness Institute also better. A teacher mentor is also better and great. I can say, but we have to focus. We have to concentrate always and be punctual. We have to participate to. Chhod bhar ke liye, bhar chhod ke liye rakhiye. Exercise rate. Man. we have to participate consistently because every we are everyone is a learner here no anyone has more knowledge so that's we have to patience we have to warmly and take uh, attend the class and with concentrate and uh, learn new new things every day and uh, acquire the knowledge and uh, deliberate and elaborate here okay we can also win one day it will take time okay good morning uh, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen thank you so much and respect